Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick review of this product from Raw Rolls. Um, it's a, uh, it's a, rarely it's just a ADS-B receiver to use while you're flying to get your aviation weather and traffic. Um, you could buy stuff like this from another vendor. It'll cost you a minimum of $600 and and uh, and actually, um, it comes in a bigger box. Um, I found this kit that you built it uh, for yourself at home. As you can see, the price is seventy four ninety nine. It's, it's, it's about five hundred dollars cheaper than buying it built, and it'll take you less than five minutes to build it. So I wanted just to show you the product and the price. And now what I'm going to do is get into the open box of what the firm sent me. Hey everyone, this is Life Sport Man, also known as John DeSmith. Um, I'm doing a quick open box review of, of uh, something my vendor sent me. It's uh, from Vaso. It's actually one of these Raspberry of Aviation Weather and Traffic receivers. Uh, but then, I'm sure you saw these uh, ADS-B receivers online before about $600, $700. Uh, but then I'm going to pretty much show you how you could build one at home for about uh, $75. These kits are about $75. Uh, uh, but this firm's kit is very good. It gives you everything you need. And, and it's pretty simple. And I'm going to just kind of open up everything and kind of show you uh, what comes in the box. So basically, I just got this box, and what happened was I bought one, and I liked it so much that I actually contacted them, and they sent me one to do a view. This is a power plug to put into your wall to the USB cable. Okay, then they give you a a a uh, USB ADS-B receiver, and uh, just just want to show you what. Oh, and it also gives you the little antenna, but this is the mini one. This, just a USB to the antenna receiver. And uh, let me just put it, you know, uh, just put it back in the box so I have it nicely. If I can get it back in the box, okay. Then, also they give you the instructions on how to do it. Uh, they give you the SD card fully programmed. So you really don't do anything. You, you just put the SD card into the Raspberry Pi. This firm, I like it because they give you the heat sinks that go onto the Raspberry Pi to help it keep cool. They give you a clear case to put your Raspberry Pi in. And then, of course, the Raspberry Pi 3. Now, I'm gonna just open this to show you. Basically, all you do is you put the is you put the SD card in here. You put this into the case, and then you plug in the USB ADS receiver. Now, um, as I said, I had one previous made, so I'm not gonna uh, redo it, remake it. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just let me put this back in the box. Then I'm gonna show you. What it kind of looks like. Well done. Now the issue is that a lot of people say, okay, well, well, well. Then since I'm in the plane, I really can't plug in. And what do I do? Well, you know, you, you, it's good to have one of these battery backup chargers. I use this for my cell phone for when it goes dead on the road, uh, but. These are like 20 bucks, and what happens is this will last about three hours in my plane. And uh, this will power a Raspberry Pi but for about three hours. So th this is my Raspberry Pi. I put it in the case, and as you see, I put the SD card in. Basically, you just take it, and I put the heat sinks in, if you could see. And you put it in the case, you put the SD cards in. Then you put your USB in here. And what I did was I Velcro this. Uh, but then a lot of people build cases and stuff like that. I just Velcro it. Now, when I'm in my plane, I need power. So I plug in my power backup, and this one you gotta turn on. 
is right here. So now, as you can see, my, my power's on, the raspberry's booty up. And now, if everything works out right, <coughs> and you go to your Wi-Fi settings, I'm gonna show you this on my phone in about a second. Okay, if you go to your Wi-Fi settings, I don't know if this should show up on the film, but you see it right here, Citrus. You click it, and it connects to your Raspberry right there through Wi-Fi. So now, if I'm in something like Four Flight, let's say I like using Four Flights for my flights. Um, okay, this is Four Flight, and I don't know how good you can see it, but it's raining today. But I want to see. Yep. Oh, okay. If you look right here, I don't know how good you can see, but you can see some planes that are about uh, 32,000 feet, 35,000 feet, and it shows them moving on. And basically, this is great because as you're flying, you can now see the planes. This is one of the best ADS receiver kits I have seen, and for the price, and let's see if we see any more planes around. Uh, coming into Phoenix. Uh, those might be the only ones I'm picking up right now, but yeah, basically, I'm only picking up those planes right now. And as you, yeah, let's zoom in. So I don't know if you could see them, but tells you how many feet higher they are from you. And uh, that's in hundreds. So, and so that's about 32,000 feet and moving. And uh, it would be some pretty big boys, but basically that's all you have to do. It's pretty simple. It's great. Uh, again, if you have any questions, this is, this is the vendor I got it from. Everything works very nicely from them. I gotta say, I highly recommend this. Um, it, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's easy to do, and it's kind of safe. You, it's good to know when other planes are up next to you. So again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm Jonathan Smith, thank you.